Bring us your baffling. Bring us your audacious. We want your sticky notes, sketchbooks, and scribbles. Let's pin them to the wall, kick them around. Kick them around, see what happens. Because we're in the how do I get this startup off the ground business. The taking your business, global business. We're in the problem solving business. 400,000 people. Ready to help you solve problems while they're still called opportunities. opportunities. From figuring it out to getting it done. We're here to help. David Suntz up here with Rick Remblack after Akron sweeps the doubleheader against Toledo and takes two out of three to win its first MAC home series of the year. And coach, you guys had a tough loss yesterday. Bounce back today. What did you like about the way your guys were able to respond? Well, you know, as we talked after the game yesterday, you know, we needed both wins, um, and more so obviously to win the series, but also. Uh, that could come down at the end of the season for a tiebreaker for the tournament, and uh, and that's exactly what happened last year. We won the series at Toledo, and uh, we won the tiebreaker when it came down to seeding for the tournament. We probably don't go to the tournament if we don't end up winning that series last year. So that was our goal c coming in this year, uh, th this uh, for today's games, these these two games. Um, and then the starting pitching was fantastic. All three guys did great. It continued with John Pusateri in the second game. Um, JT Brubaker in game one today was fantastic. All those guys, um, I mean, it, they didn't give up an earned run, I guess, and, and uh, you couldn't ask for anything more. Um, a good sign here today was uh, Pusateri, no walks, seven strikeouts. It, that's uh, near perfect right there. You know, I wish it would have been a little bit um, spread out more. You know, we made it close toward the end. Uh, but we want a close one, and that's all that counts. A couple of gems from your starters. Let's start off with game one. JT Brubaker, eight shutout innings, seven strikeouts. How was he able to be so efficient out there? Yeah, he was on. I mean, he worked ahead. His fastball had some life to it. His slider was devastating today. I mean, you could have told the hitters it was coming, and that's what got those guys out. Uh, he was making pitches when he needed to make them. Um, he didn't get behind a whole lot. Uh, he had great command of both, but that slider, uh, it was unhittable today. That was one of his better performances this year. Brew Baker got a lot of run support, 10 runs in game one. How were you guys able to jump on Toledo early? Well, you know, it, I think we put good swings on. Um, their guy was leaving the ball over the plate. Um, we, we ended up having good at-bats. Uh, it snowballed. I think the confidence level picked up with everybody. Uh, but we took advantage of the fastball that's over the zone, and that's what we preach all the time. We don't want to let those balls go. We want to end up making sure we capitalize when we see a good fastball. In game two, John Pusateri, seven shutout innings, seven strikeouts, was able to strand some runners on base in key situations. How was he able to do that? John was great. You know, and again, we talk about making the pitch. He was making pitch after pitch, and, and um, you know, getting a couple guys on. He had a tough one, I think, uh, where a leadoff guy got on, maybe at second and third. Uh, can't remember if there was no outs or one out. He got out of that jam. He just kept making pitches. Um, again, his slider, he had a very good slider there. His fastball had a lot of life, and you can see um, when a hitter starts feeling uncomfortable, they start chasing, and you saw a lot of chases out of the, their hitters, uh, out of him. A couple of great pitching performances leads to another Max Series win. Thanks for the time, Coach, and best of luck at Canisius on Wednesday. Good deal. Go Zips.